Hallelujah. All glory, praise, and honor to Jesus and Jesus alone. Well, as you begin this day, I want to encourage you and I want to challenge you. No matter what's happening around you, I want you to know that God has good in store for you. And as you live a life that is patterned by God, that is led by God, you will begin to see all the good that he has kept for you manifest before your very eyes. A few days back, I spoke to you of an overcomer's mindset. Well, I just want to dig a little deeper. And I want you to know that your thought pattern to live that life and overcomer's life is very important. In Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, it says there, As a man thinks, so is he. That means what you think is very important because your thought pattern will begin to determine how you live on earth and that, that what you live is going to bring forth fruit either good or bad well let us look into scriptures when we look into the life of David the people around David when they saw Goliath their thought pattern was he's too big for us we cannot take him and they lived in fear they could not overcome Goliath David, on the contrary, when he saw Goliath, he did not see a problem. He saw an opportunity. The thought pattern was so important. In fact, I believe that even before David could pull down Goliath and chop off his head, in his mind, he had already overcome. In his mind, he had said, he spoke these words to people as well. Who is this uncircumcised man to challenge the armies of the living God? You see, his victory began first in his mind. Then we see it being manifested outside as he acted on what he believed. What you believe, what you think is very important. Look at the 12 spies. They all went to spy and they all saw the same things. But 10 of them could see big giants. Two of them, Joshua and Caleb, could see big grapes. They could see a land of opportunity, a land of fruitfulness. The others could see only problems. I want to encourage you. Your thought pattern, the way you think is so important. Instead of magnifying your problems, I want you to magnify God. I know your problems will tell you, I'm too big for you. The, your, your problems will tell you that you cannot overcome. Your problems will tell you you are going to be defeated. But instead of believing those lies that the enemy sows into you, I want you to turn to God and know what God speaks to you. And God declares you are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror. You will see victory. You will see the good days that I have promised. I have stored up good for you. This is what God speaks to you. And that's why we need to be people who meditate on what God speaks over us. Rather than let our mind contemplate, meditate on all the problems around us. Remember, what you think is very important. Because as you think, so will you live. What you think the things you think, the things you meditate on, that will determine how you're going to live. What you need to do is meditate on what God speaks about you rather than what your problems speak to you.